Welcome to the Encourage Podcast. We are all different ages and different life stages, and we come from different cultures and churches, but our common thread is the hope of Jesus. Here's some of that hope to get you through today. Today's devotion is written by Angelie Pascal and is titled, Life Doesn't Have to Be a Battle. My son and I fight a lot. It's not easy to admit, but we see the world so differently. He is strong. I am not. He is outspoken. I am not. He is opinionated. I am opinionated. Since he came screaming out of me 16 years ago, he's been a fighter. After all this time, I'm weary. In my weariness, I get defensive. I get angry. I want to demand my voice be heard. I want to make him see my point of view and why it's right. I tend to force things. I can be stubborn. I want what I want. I've spent a lot of my life forcing things. I've done this with jobs I wanted. I push and push and push because I'm afraid of not getting what I want. I've done this with things, opportunities, and people. When I'm afraid, I force my way forward. I'm reminded of so many figures in the Bible who forced things, too. Sarah was afraid of not conceiving and forced her husband to sleep with her servant, Hagar. Moses used force, Judah used force, and Peter used force, all when they were faced with a fearful situation. But when I react to my fear by forcing my way forward, I usually end up hurting myself or others. Life doesn't have to be a battle. We don't have to fight to get ahead or fear falling behind. Instead, we can surrender. We can let go of life on our terms. As fear rises, we can refuse to put on our boxing gloves and instead lean on Jesus. I usually deal with my fear by using my own strength. When I sense my soul tensing up for a fight, I've learned to listen to the invitation to relax. I can enter my fear with Jesus. Like a litany, I live these words, Soul, be still. Don't force the doors of opportunity to open. Don't force people to relate in ways that only work for you. Don't push to get your way. Trust that the Lord is always present and will always lead you to love and be loved. Surely God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. Isaiah 12, 2 NIV Our new book, 100 Days of Strength in Any Struggle, will take you on a journey of learning to see God clearer and to know Him deeper in the middle of your struggles. As you experience pain, move through daily challenges, or get bogged down by anxieties big or small, you'll learn to find Him right in the middle of it, ready to strengthen you and give you rest. In this beautiful book, you'll find relatable stories from all of your favorite Encourage writers, 100 lifeline scriptures to recenter your focus, journaling space to write your thoughts or prayers, and a place to record how God is strengthening you every day. It's a devotional journal that will feel like sitting down with dearest friends and seeking God together in the middle of your mess or struggle. Order your copy today. We cannot wait for you to read this book. To read more from our writers, visit encourage.me. Subscribe to the podcast so you don't miss a single episode and find us everywhere on social at Encourage. You don't have to keep trying to muster up more grit, willpower, or wisdom on your own. You can tap into the source of true, unfailing strength. In our new book, 100 Days of Strength in Any Struggle, you'll discover where strength really comes from and that you are stronger than you think because God is closer than you know. Order your copy today at encourage.me slash podcast. The Encourage podcast is brought to you by Dayspring. For over 50 years, Dayspring has created quality cards, books, and gifts that help you live your faith. Find out more at dayspring.com.